Thank you. May I now request other members on the dais to join us? Guys and of the guys, my respected teachers, colleagues, and my dear friends, a very, very good morning and musical morning to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our humble and gracious, ever smiling chief guest for the day, Mrs. Pooja Vaidyanath. Mrs. Pooja Vaidyanath was born in Andhra, in Hyderabad, and was raised in a very uh, family which was very well known in classical music. She had a natural interest in music, especially classical, and then she switched out all other kinds of music to suit her career. She has been singing from a very young age and she has received multiple awards inside India and all over the world. She is an inspirational and a soulful singer and she aspires and inspire, inspiration is basically from her father. She stood first in musical contest organized in the UNICEF very early as early as 2001. She has started her career as early as her college days and she is a graduate in MBA. She has over 300 stage performers which has won the claps of all over the world. She has been had she has had the honor of working with some of the very well renowned musical directors, to name a few, uh, Mr. A. R. Rahman and Mr. Uh, G. V. Prakash. So her career has come to a highlight, and she's been very well known to us as active super singer. A uh, very congratulations, ma'am, and it was wonderful to see you on the stage and off the stage perform. It was very very soulfully rendered music. So music is one of the best ways to preach to people, to the educated as well as the uneducated. Uh, very good morning to one and all. Uh, first of all, uh, Chandra Mohan sir, thank you so much uh, uh, for uh, calling me. Now, actually, our neighbor, or you know, the super singer days, Murinja and the Kalatla, and I'm really uh, happy to be here. And I think it's important that we all celebrate Pandro. Something which, as a woman, we, we must all embrace and you know celebrate. And uh, Dr. Sona Madri, when the um, or the last few years, I when the breastfeeding of being the when the Nariya women avoid pandranga for many reasons. Especially working women, I have seen myself. Uh, in order, kura terinja vanga working conditions. Now delivery mudinje and the one month and the maternity leave mudinje orane they want to you know start their work and this when the kunchu abhi. Been seated, so please don't do that. Uh, one best example, I have not got the opportunity to become a mother yet, but I have been with my sister and I have been very close. So, I will tell you my sister, when uh, she had her first baby, uh, she was working and uh, over two weeks she had to join, rejoin. So, she would come back during lunch time. I will tell you, it's a lot of pain to take permission from office every single day, come home and you know, and the mari pandranga, so it's very uh, nice to see in the madri women who are in the, you know, working women are the, please motivate pandranga, our family, mother members, you know, uh, and as a male, you know, you know, a, a woman undergoes a lot of hormonal changes, physical changes, it's very demotivating to see herself after uh, you know, the delivery and they are a new person away married so they accept it so they accept it so they take a lot of time lot of time so as a or a brother or a father or even as a husband please they will motivate Panni please tell them how important it is for her and also for the baby because it cures a lot of cancerous diseases now we all know how uh, it's become like a cold cough mari aidichu cancer vandu and this is a small thing in the future for a healthy lifestyle. So please motivate. Uh, in order to meet recently, our daughter delivered and she was complaining that for uh, the third day, she was going to get some powder. I don't have the rights to yell at her but I told her in a very polite way that this is not the it's not right because she's saying rombo punna ayiruchu so vandre ingalala edhum panna mudiyala but you have to treat it adutha step enna nu eduthu immediately you know you have to take uh, care of the mother 
of the new mother and ningala uh, support pannunga enakku therinja indha social media liye i'm going to post a lot of think about this actually ivlo naal varaikku nanu kind of i was in my zone but today it's like an eye opener for me as well so enala mudinjadhu na pannuven na indha idella na i promise and uh, i request all my other sisterhood to also promote this and uh, thank you for having me here once again romba romba thanks sir ninga enakku the social cause ne theriyala i am always up and you know ready for uh, any uh, non funded or uh, social service because i have grown up in and mari or atmosphere la da nariya sai bhajans nariya medical camps and mari panni da nanu valandirken enoda teenage la pathinga na padathukku poradho adala vandha secondary da mukavasi bhajans pandrathu nariya medical camps organize panni adala kalandukkaradhu idhava da irundirken enoda idhu so coming back to my roots is what i feel today and i am really honored and privileged to uh, you know take this opportunity in addressing this crowd and thank you கண்டிப்பா நான் பாடாம போக மாட்டேன் நீங்களும் விட மாட்டேங்கன்னு தெரியும் நீங்க எல்லாம் பாக்குறது பார்த்தா எப்பமா பேசுறது நிறுத்துவேன் அப்படின்னு இருக்கு ஸோ டெஃபினெட்லி சின்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஃபார் த பேபிஸ் அண்ட் சார் சொன்ன மாதிரி எஸ் ஐம் வெரி வெரி க்ளோஸ் டு மை நெவ்யூஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டூ நெவ்யூஸ் சினிமா பாட்டு பாடலாமா பக்தி பாட்டு பாடலாமா பிடிக்கவே இல்லை வராங்க எஸ் அப்படிங்கிறாரு இல்ல யோர் சாய்ஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ நிறைய ராஜா சார் ஃபேன்ஸ் இருப்பாங்கல்ல இருக்கீங்களா ஓகே சார் வேற இவர் வேற எனக்கு ஜானகி அம்மா பாட்டம் கொடுத்துட்டாரு ஸோ அவங்களோடதே ஒரு பாட்டு கோயில கருங்கோயில மாமன் மன கோயில கோலம் போடும் போட்டால மயில இளம் மயில மாமன் கவி கோயில ராகம் பாடும் கேட்டாலே செய்தி சொல்லும் பாட்டால உன்னை எண்ணினே உள்ளம் பாடி போ கண்ணி பொண்ணுதானே ஏ மாமனே ஏ மாமனே உத்தையில அத்த மக பொண்ணு நிலச்சு ரசிச்ச மக கண்ணு ரெண்டும் மூடலே காலம் நீரும் கூடலே முரிசனம் தூங்கிருச்சு ஊத காத்து அடிச்சிருச்சு பாவி மனம் தூங்கலே அதுவும் ஏறும் புரியலே Uh, today to welcome all of you i was just talking to the chief guest the renowned singer i was just telling her like uh, many things uh, in life today we indians we tend to forget traditions and we lose our values and then suddenly one fine morning the westerners wake us up they remind us of our old values and we go back i can give you the numerable instances including examples in pediatrics and in real life whether it is fast food exercise alcohol smoking lifestyle culture we forget our values the westerners first impose it on us 
then they wake up first, we wake up late. And, uh, there is no other example other than the wake up call for breastfeeding. See, the world breastfeeding week started somewhere around uh, two decades back with the wake up call from the WHO, UNICEF, and from African countries. Because it was first initiated by the West only. They discovered, they rediscovered the benefits of uh, breastfeeding, and the multinational infant food industry, which was which having a hard time in India, they got a wake up call, and we all got a wake up call. There was a time when it was fashionable not to breastfeed and to give artificial feeds. The pendulum was swung back. It is not fashionable today to not to breastfeed. And uh, with regard to breastfeeding, there are three key people, three key people who, who ensure that there is successful breastfeeding. One is the mother herself, second is the relatives, third is the group of medical and paramedical personnel. The mother, if she is a doubting Thomas, she will fail. Invariably, many a time it happens to working women. So they like you know some of the cricket players who are out of form. Before they go to the stadium, to the midfield, <laughs> they think they'll just score a zero. So the working mother who's worried more about the files than about the baby's breastfeeding, she fail, she'll fail. She'll fail. Who is the people around? Which includes great grandmothers, grandmothers, uncles, and uh, not uncle, aunties, right? If they had succeeded in breastfeeding, the mother would succeed. Third is, of course, the doctor, the nurse, the paramedical personnel. Here, I think nurses are very, very important. And if they are very motivated, I thought in our neonatology department also, there are three pillars like that. One is Dr. Chandra Kumar, second is Vanati, third is Shamukh. And all the three of them are doing well and ensuring that breastfeeding is promoted in this hospital. They do everything to ensure that uh, uh, breastfeeding is promoted. And we have an excellent uh, lactation consultant, Dr. Mrs. Charlotte, who has added so much value for uh, breastfeeding promotion. But a few years back, <coughs> we sent uh, nearly about 25 nurses for lactation training <laughs> And in fact, in this hospital, even the lactation consultant is not there in the OP. We have 25 warriors in the OPD. All our nurses in the OPD are all trained in lactation. We ensure that no mother <coughs> stops breastfeeding. We ensure that they all breastfeed. With these few words, I have great pleasure in <coughs> welcoming our chief guest, a very renowned uh, uh, singer. Unfortunately, my <laughs> knowledge with the chromatic music as well as uh, uh, any other music is to madam and the wrong person to invite you but however I heard about you in fact after I saw I, I also listened to a few songs yesterday for a change and yes they are wonderful and uh, the, it is actually uh, for pediatricians I always say when the babies cry the mothers will get upset I tell them, this is my music from morning 8.30 to 8.30, you don't get upset. So, the only music people like me, I listen to is only babies cry, and I love them. Okay, I love them. I mean, cry means normal cry, like, okay, abnormal uh, cry, we don't permit in our hospital or in our uh, We welcome you heartily, and we thank you for sparing your time. And I believe uh, she is taking care of her. A few children, and she's even when she was talking to us, she was meant talking only about the children. She's obviously a baby friendly singer. Welcome, you man. And I welcome the press uh, for this uh, function. I'm very, very happy because nowadays, you know, press is more interested in assemblies and elections and other things. I'm very happy that the press is there in good numbers for this very, so very important social cause. Please give as much publicity to breastfeeding as much as possible. This is one, one area, I can tell you, pediatricians are the sisters in our hospital, our health workers are our administrators. 
we are not looking at any profit motive. It is an absolutely important, relevant social idea for us. And uh, I request you to ensure not only here, any activity in relation to breastfeeding, please give the widest publicity. In fact, we should be seeing only for the next one week, news only on breastfeeding, not on murders and rapes and thefts. Thank you very much. Um, so it's wonderful to see you all uh, here for this uh, cause, social cause of promoting breastfeeding. So the World Breastfeeding Week is being celebrated uh, the first week of August every year. And it started way back in 1992 and at most, uh, almost for 27 years we have been observing. So as our medical director reiterated, I mean, you know, we had to, uh, you know, observe a week to promote breastfeeding because, you know, we have forgotten our uh, values, right? So this also we have looked upon to the West and started uh, celebrating. So why we are at this stage, I mean, why we, ha we are promoting breastfeeding for a week? Because to deliver the message that exclusive breastfeeding is, you know, essential, which not only helps the baby, but uh, the mother and, and it has a so social cause as well, right? So when we look at the statistics, like, you know, um, our uh, even though we say that, you know, Tamil Nadu is one of the forerunner in health indices in, the, in India, when we look at the exclusive breastfeeding rate up to six months of age, our statistics is, you know, less than 50%. We are just 48%. When you look at the Indian statistics for all over India, it is 54%. Okay. So, you, we are below the Indian uh, standards for exclusive breastfeeding for six months. So, we need to kind of, you know, motivate uh, 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 mothers to promote breastfeeding. So, that is the message. So, the theme for this year uh, World Breastfeeding Week celebration is Empower Parents and Enable Breastfeeding. Okay, if you look at the logo there, uh, you, you, you can see uh, two members, hold, I mean with a baby there and it is supported by other people. Okay, so yeah, you have to empower parents. It is not only the responsibility of the mother. So, it is the responsibility of the father as well. So, in a family, if you see an equation, right, um, uh, father's relatives may say like, why are you helping so much with, uh, you know, uh, breastfeeding and all, like, you know, somebody may pass a comment, and I need to go, you know, lady, you know, you know, in the valley, you know, you know, you know, somebody may pass a comment, okay. But, I mean, here you need to say that, you know, father also has an important role in promoting breastfeeding and sustaining breastfeeding, that is more important. Not only initiation, sustaining breastfeeding is very important, okay, there involves the father's role and the other stakeholders in the family's role. So that is what the theme of this week, okay, empower parents, you have to empower the parents to promote breastfeeding so that, you know, it is, you can, you know, improve your performance. Uh, from what we are now, okay? So with this short note, I will welcome you all for this wonderful event. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Our first prize goes Special thanks to our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Chandra Mohan, for giving us an opportunity to conduct this program with our committee members. And uh, special thanks to our fellow Medical Director, Dr. S. Balasubramaniam, who has made this event uh, to come to our limelight and who has guided us uh, regarding this breastfeeding week celebration. And our uh, special thanks to our uh, HOD Head of the Department in Unity, Dr. Chandra Kumar. And, uh, our, we wish to express our gratitude to our esteemed chief guests 